Didn't see you there. I'm Tanner. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. I'm Aaron. We're here to talk to you about photosynthesis. Now, photosynthesis converts light energy into the chemical energy of sugars. This chemical reaction involves many other reactions involving carbon dioxide, CO2, and water, H2O. Now, oxygen is a byproduct of this reaction and is released into the atmosphere. This reaction has a formula that we will show you. 6CO2 plus 6H2O with light energy produces C6H12O2 and 6O2. Yeah! Tanner, you messed this up. What? It should be 06. I'm sorry. This electron transfer during photosynthesis is an example of an oxidation reduction process. The water is oxidized, loses electrons, and the CO2 is reduced, gains electrons. Photosynthesis uses light energy to drive the electrons from water. I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to be doing with my hands. You, you can just leave them down on your side. That'd be, that'd be great. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Drive the electrons from water to their more energetic states in the sugar products. Your, your, thus your hands. converting Never mind. solar energy into chemical energy. Oh no, the light's out! Ah! Oh, there we go. What do we need the light for? The light produces the electromagnetic energy needed for photosynthesis. Oh! The leaf, as seen here, is the center of photosynthesis on the plant. And the stomates allow carbon dioxide to enter the plant. The roots bring the water and the sunlight works with the chloroplast, giving you photosynthesis. photosynthesis. Here it is. Oh, nope. Don't <laughs> eat that. That's important. As you can see, photosynthesis is vital to plant life. It makes them an autotroph, meaning they make their own food through photosynthesis. Isn't that right, Tanner? What? Thank you, thank you very much! Anti-biology! 2K14! Thanks to the cameraman, Scotty!